Well, see, we're back here with you at Festival Week and with none other than Paul. And Paul, tell everybody the name of the film is? Atomism. It's always a tricky, it's a little tongue twister. Right? Yeah, it is. It, okay. Uh, tell us a little, you know, the, film, the film just screens, so tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a futuristic look at uh, the world, mm -hmm. uh, good and evil, and uh, seeing who's going to win. Oh, who won? I'm not telling. <laughs> not giving the end away. You gotta go see you the movie. You gotta go see the movie. movie yeah. Now, of course, you're uh, you're doing. You just finished the movie. You're also a producer for Men in Black Three, which is very exciting. Yeah, I'm one of the many producers. One of the many. many producers. Well, that's, yeah, so. that's still very admirable. Yeah. I mean, it's a wonderful so, thing. So. When does that come out? Uh, May 25th. May 25th. Yeah. Are we all invited here in oh, Hollywood? Of course. <laughs> at the of premiere. Course. There's uh, only about 10, we have a guest list of about 10,000 uh, people. The premiere so. is uh, in New York. So. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to be in New York. I'm going to be in New York. I'm going to be there. I'll call you. Okay. Anyway, so um, what's your next? Now, this is very interesting to me. So you, you're obviously doing some big studio films yeah. as a producer, but yeah. yet you decided to do a short independent film. Yeah, well, I'm I'm more interested in directing short independent films and not directing short independent films, but directing in general. So um, I'm looking to do a feature next. I'm, right. Do you have and, something in mind? Um, I, have, I have a few projects in <laughs> mind, but I'm not giving right. anything away right now. Now, is it hard for you as an independent filmmaker, even though you have all the connections from studio people that you know, to get a film made? Of course. It's of just course. like everybody because else. It's just like everybody else. You get pigeonholed in a certain position, and they're not willing, right. you know. They want to give you a chance, but... They want the sure thing. So how is it that you like directing more than producing? Or you're yeah, actually, in a sense, you're doing both. Right? Well, but in directing, you're you're more working with the cast and the crew and telling a story. You know. Oh. Well, we well, let's, yeah, and speaking of which, let's bring the cast on out. Come on out Come over on. here. Cast members. Come on, Yada. Yada. Come on, Yada. 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 All righty. Very nice. Well, hello, Sam. Hello. It's my dad's name. I like that. Already. Good name. <laughs> Paul got Paul. You got hidden back there. Come over. Come over here on this side. You can come over here. You stand over here. Okay. We like to consider this a professional interview. And there you go. <laughs> all right. And this is Sam. Sam, tell us what part did you play? I played the part of Tyler Barrow. Tyler Barrow. Yes. And what did you do? I got beat up mostly. Okay. I was interrogated through the film. Oh, that was you. Yes. You look a little different. Older. <laughs> you look older now yeah, or older yeah. then? Older then. I got a little scruff. Oh, okay. Okay. You're going for a new look. You're getting ready for your next part. Rugged. Rugged. All right, and let me jump over here, and I'll introduce these young ladies here. I know you, of course. Right. She's been the instigator behind this, and we're going to get to that in a second. So tell us about your part in the movie. Uh, I'm Katie Foley, and I'm playing Shauna, and I'm uh, basically Tyler's love interest. Really? That's not. Maybe you should stand over here. <laughs> All right. Are you, on he's keeping an eye on. He's keeping an eye on. Me. Come on now. Hand the mic. Okay. So uh, how is it? Now? How long have you been acting? I've been acting since I was four years old. Wow. Yeah. And 12, 15, how old are you? <laughs> uh, basically, yes, okay. yes. So what was it like Eight working years. with Paul as a director? This is his first, uh, is this one of your first debuts, Paul, as a director? Uh, no, uh, this is like the third thing I've done, but uh, it was great working with all of them. They are you most happy with this project other than the others, or are they all equally as babies to you? Equally, they're all Okay, yeah. okay. This is, this is the most different one than than the other two. So. so working with Paul was... Uh... Oh, it was an absolute treat. This is actually the second time I've worked with them. I worked with them on my rap video. Wow. First. Okay, yes. okay. Well, we're looking forward to having that released somewhere. I mean, there's oh, lots of... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you know what it is? It's a short film, so it's a little more... It was a, it was a rap video parody, and it was Katie's idea, and it was... Um, uh, and Yada's idea, Yada. Yada refuses to get on red carpets and I don't know what it is. And it uh, was a parody of Michelle Bachman running for president. Oh, okay. And it was uh, featured on Funny or Die. I think it's still up on that website. And, and it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, and you can find it on, uh, on uh, so, YouTube as well. This is Lincoln. Yes, yes. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm doing well. I just. What part did you play? I play the evil interrogator. Oh. As you can see, I'm a very evil person yes. most of the time. <laughs> Can't help it. It's just yeah. to offset that evilness by being so nice now. That's the <laughs> well, it's my sly way of, you know, drawing people in. How long have you been acting now? or? Oh, I guess about over 20 years. Really? Yeah. You hold your age very well. That's right. <laughs> All right, and let's get this young lady over here. And I just want to say that she's the instigator. I was on Sony Lot, and I was writing around a little bit checking out Adam Sandler's place trying to get in his next movie and uh, I saw you coming out of a screening mm -hmm. and then we met and we were looking at that uh, car from uh, what, Ghostbusters, what movie? Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. we were all taking pictures and we got to talking and voila who you are an official entry into the New York International Film Festival Serendipity. see that's all you so tell everybody out there who you are and I'm Amelia Amelia Phillips you're right it is a tongue twister <laughs> <laughs> last time you could pronounce it, I was like what's so hard about Amelia Phillips you should have seen my interview yesterday I was having the same problem <laughs> Amelia so tell us now how long have you been doing that 
um, again, since I was a little kid. How did you get into character? When you um, I, years of preparation and learning about that, sometimes journaling, I think, for this part. Um, I actually did some research on Army and then with nurses because I had to do both worlds um, and journaling. Now, Paul won't let me give any of this away, but I got to say the transformation of her character in the film is phenomenal. Was that your acting or her acting? <laughs> or your no, directing no, and your acting? Everything. And your directing? No, it was everything. <laughs> it was all you, really. <laughs> all you. We, had, we had very good direction and great editing. I mean, everything across the board, like the, the background, the behind the scenes was amazing. It'd be really exciting if you could turn that into a feature now, which is the direction you're trying to go? Never say never. Never say never. Never say Good never. James Bond movie. <laughs> Amelia, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you all of you so much, Paul and everybody here. I want to thank you. And uh, she's over there. <laughs> so on behalf of Festival Week, I'm Rich Rossi. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.